Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf here at the Tour Van in our Minnetonka store, joined today by Mr. Kevin Kraft from our Columbia store, flying into Minnesota in December to test some clubs. Uh, we are indoors, thankfully. And we have the latest from Mizuno in the player's cavity category, the Mizuno Pro 243, and we have the prior generation Mizuno Pro 223. So initially, I mean, they do look similar. They have a very yep. similar, you can tell the materials and the construction is similar design for right players that mm -hmm. um, want some control, want some soft feel, but maybe want a little bit of distance. We saw uh, kind of a boost in distance almost from the 223 compared mm -hmm. to maybe pass it in its category for Mizuno. Now the 243, but you saw some big differences also in the shape of it. Yeah, the, the looks are strikingly different uh, across the board. Blade length is smaller. Top line is distinctly thinner. Um, it just, overall, it just looks like a nice natural progression of the way Mizuno wants to go with their player cavity. Iron. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think, well, first of all, they, they clearly redesigned the shape of that kind of Yes. Of the cavity and the micro slot there, yeah. you can see with the 223, it's a very kind of almost a straight line, if you will. Yeah. And they've kind of adjusted that a little bit with the 243. I imagine to get a little bit more mass kind of behind, behind the ball. Yep. Behind the golf ball. Yep. And so that's going to only make those sweet shot um, feeling shots better. Yep. Um, but then also there's you know more weight back there, more stable. Uh, and then as we'll maybe see in the, in the testing, a little bit more pop too, which might come of that. But... I also noticed when I was able to put the two clubs next to each other, I for sure noticed the top line. Yeah. Very much thinner in it the is. 243. So it it's almost kind of, you know, like you mentioned, it's a progression. You want that thinner top line. You want the, the player to like what they're looking at, but then you also want to give them the goods under the hood too, yeah. um, which is, I think, what Mizuno is going for with each of these new iterations. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we even have a, we have a, a little change to the sole design here mm -hmm. too. So, um, you know, we don't get, turf interaction here right 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 somebody will <laughs> somebody yeah. out there will yeah yeah somebody uh, who plays golf on grass yeah which is most we'll, people we'll yes that's most right. people yeah, do yeah. Uh, okay so let's do some testing we'll okay hit, let's go like let's hit let's hit 10 shots we'll grab the best eight from each club okay and um we'll come back and look at the numbers cool all right starting with the two two three the two two three um, I know you loved this iron too for the last couple of years. This so. was of of all the Mizuno irons. This was my favorite uh, across the entire spectrum. I like this golf club. I like looking down at this golf club. It makes me happy. It's it's good. Yeah, <laughs> makes uh, you happy. It okay. Does. Yeah. Um, so today, yeah, we're testing. We actually have the have the same shaft, the uh, Nippon Modus. Yep. Right. One twenty S in both. Um, we're just gonna see what. If there is a difference, if you notice a difference in feel at all, um, and then if we also notice anything launch spin, um, mm -hmm. they're both at 32 degrees. So uh, they should be pretty similar, but we did notice, again, those changes in, in how it's designed. So there, yeah. there's probably a reason for that. Yeah. Skinny. Oh, I forgot I hadn't swung a golf club for about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really offer you even a chance to warm up. Again. No, you didn't. That would have been I nice. Of me. I can't work under these conditions. That would have been nice of me to do. <laughs> there you go. As he slowly works back to trying to find the club face. Ooh, that sounded pretty good. Found it. Okay. Four feet curve. You're loose now. Mm, feeling better. Five feet curve. You got to remember the old body needs time to get loose. <laughs> Eight feet of curve. Mm. Like now you're just kind of going rapid fire here. Hey, I'm just watching that. When you're feeling the flow, that high draw. How many, How many is that? That's what I'm about to find out. Nine. Oh, I'm going to remove this first one for sure. Maybe even next one, but yeah, we're fine. I mean, 
you're hitting the ball really good now. Okay, uh, there's there's got to be eight good ones. He there. found the slot. <laughs> found it. Okay, so the Mizuno Pro <laughs> two two three. Um, that's what I, that's that's what I like to see right there. That is what you like to see. Yeah. Um, I don't even I don't even want to take any of these out. I mean, I, you don't need to take any of them out. That's fine. You can leave them all okay. in there. That's ten. We're just gonna keep all ten then. That's the top <laughs> test for the two four three to fine. match up with, but. Um, so this is very good. Plus or minus 177 spin, 5670, 165 carry, 172 total, and you can also see by the, this uh, <clears throat> ludicrous <laughs> dispersion. Um, that's very good. I, I can see why you liked that club so much. Yeah, I told you it makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, it's a good golf club. Um, I'm very interested to see what the what the the, the new guy does comparatively. Yeah, so. We did, one thing I'm curious about, so this is just after filming our Spring Report video um, on the new Mizuno Pro 24 series. Um, check that out if you haven't yet. And one thing we noticed in that video was some extra spin from the Mizuno Pro 243. And so I'm curious if that happens here, Yeah. Um, if we see maybe an increase in spin compared you know, from the past generation. Yeah. That'd be the one thing. Strange I'm things at. happen, right? This, this is golf, yeah. but you know. Uh, I'm definitely interested to see. All right, let's do okay. it. All right. So the two, four, three. Yep. I mean, let's kind of rehash those differences in, in appearance again here, um, having now put this one down in the dress. It's more beautiful. -er. I like that. More yeah. beautiful. -er. That's it gonna is. go in the thumbnail. Because that was beautiful, but this is beautiful. -er. <laughs> uh, it's it's more compact. The top line is you know you can probably carve a ham with this if you wanted to. Um, it just looks great. It looks, it, it looks like the next progression of yeah. that iron, right? right? So let's see what it does. Yeah. If there's any progression there. One foot of curve. There's the draw. Just a tiny one. You know how nice it would be to hit a, a nice high draw that just like, it's like a two yard draw <laughs> every time. This is what I'm always after. This is what I've been chasing my entire, my entire life. Ah, caught it thin. How dare you catch one thing. <laughs> All right, I gotta ask now after a few with the two, four, three feel. Um, anything different? From a two, two, three, or pretty similar? Because like the materials, this are pretty much the same. It's just that obviously the construction of the shape is a little bit different. So I didn't know if that did anything to the feel. I feel a little more something in this. Okay, it's, it's weird. Like normally I can tell you what I'm feeling. Yeah, that might have felt a little softer. Okay. Like this, maybe just the tiniest bit more firm. Okay. Maybe it was because there's a little more mass behind. The yeah, center. maybe just a little bit more yeah. behind not, where the ball will be hit. Not bad. Like there's, no, yeah, there's, and this is that, again, that is, we are. That is not a negative statement this is at all. Classic nitpick. Yes, here. absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. I, uh, I took him out of his rhythm, and he drew it a whole extra two yards there. <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna see where we're at here. Uh, these dispersion circles are gonna be yeah, stupid. Tonka. Uh, this is probably the one to remove. If there's one, we'll do that. We got what, three, a couple more? Turned oh, it a little much. Turning. Yeah, just yeah, I got the, I just flipped the face a little tiny bit. Instead of putting for probably that one feet, too, honestly, thirty-five feet. Probably turn that one a little bit too. Okay. Okay. So, um, nah, I am nah, very nah. interested. Yeah. 
There it is. The this spin. is a higher spinning iron. And this is with that last swing in there that you kind of pulled. If you take that out, it goes up even more. So um, hmm. this, yeah, I, I think we can, this is now a couple tests we've done. I think we can conclude Mizuno Pro 243 is a higher spinning iron than the it, Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly thought that first one was kind of going to be a fluke. Yeah, but, I, I thought it might be too, because yeah. obviously these are small sample sizes. Yeah. But um, that's... Golly, uh, I got one way outside the 15-foot zone. That's actually ridiculous. Can I keep my job? Yeah, well, I'll, t I'll talk to my people, <laughs> and then they'll talk to your people. Uh, no, That's this the is, most robotic I think I've ever been. Yeah, I'm, I think for the sake of visually and, and for the, the point about spin that we're going to make, I'm going to do this. Oh. And so... Um, Sweet. Because of that... Now, again, this is... You know, call it manipulating the data a little bit, whatever you might want to do. Um, I, it's it's it might be slight, but it's still a higher spinning iron. I think we yeah, can 150 that. RPM. That's you know, it's not nothing. No, I I agree. I agree. Um, I also noticed more ball speed. Yeah. With the Mizuno Pro 243. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is kind of cool. See, so well, there is a, a couple that's more a good, yards. That's a need. good. Yeah, it's the progression you know, of progression. of yes. what's Mizuno. Made yeah. the right re refinements to, yeah. you know, add a little bit of speed, a little bit of distance. Yep. Added some spin too, which is a, again, we you always hear low spin, more distance, but yeah. spin with irons is a good thing. It's yeah, it's a wonderful thing that we get more ball speed and a little bit more spin. Yeah. So the person that's the person that's buying this iron, probably unless their golf clubs are old, is probably not looking to pick up a ton of distance, right? Because right? there's so many other things they can get that will pick them up distance. Mm -hmm. They're probably gonna see, if, if they pick up a little bit of distance and a little bit of spin, we're talking same basic yardages, yeah. but with more control, Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get more control, you get also the, the soft feel that you yes. referred to. Yep. Um, and also, look how consistent this club yeah. is. And both of them yeah. really, I mean, both of them. I mean, that's what um, a player's club ought to look like, right? Yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, really, that's, that's what it's designed for. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, so I think we can draw a couple conclusions here. Um, there are used sets in second string inventory. Mizuno Pro 223. Mm -hmm. Fantastic set for a player that, yeah. you know, pretty skilled player looking for soft feel, workability, control. Um, Mizuno Pro 243 is a little bit better. Yep. It's a little bit better. And, in, uh, in the aesthetics yeah. and, and in the performance. Yeah. Like, I love that golf club. I can't express enough how much I like that golf club. Yeah. There's, there's very few sets of irons that I would have even remotely played compared to what I've been using. That was one of the sets of irons I've said all along that I could throw in my bag and be perfectly happy. The 223. Happy. The 223. Yeah. This, however, is another step forward. Mm -hmm. This looks absolutely phenomenal. So it, it hits all the things that I want to see uh, from an aesthetic standpoint. Yeah, that's uh, that type of feedback from Kevin Kraft is, is hard to come by. I I would, you know, we review the clubs and we and yeah. we, you know, the, all these products we review with Kevin are are good and they have yeah. their benefits. But to get that type of feedback, yeah, is and I, I try different. to be positive about most of this stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. If something's not if something's not good, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna play a big game improvement golf club. No. Yeah. But they all have their place and it's important that we run through what the looks and feels and sounds are and, mm -hmm. and who it's for. Uh, this happens to be a golf club that, that is for me. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed by this. Yeah. I think yeah. Pizzino did a fantastic yeah. job. The numbers speak for themselves. Kevin speaks for himself. So, um, Go to secondsweet.com, look for Pizzino Pro 223 sets. If you're maybe trying to save a buck or two, find something used. Um, have a bunch of options for you, different shafts, different conditions, how much they've been played. But if you want something brand new, schedule a fitting uh, in the tour van with someone like Kevin. We'll get you dialed in for Mizuno Pro 243 irons, and you'll be hitting better iron shots. So, Kevin, thanks for the testing and the Certainly. data today. Really good stuff here. Thanks.